What's up guys, Joe Iano, Front Street Iano. This is my S14 right here. Uh, not really sure we are in the build stage right now, but Josh and Alex and everyone in the Front Street crew have been pulling ass and killing it. I had the car for a little over five years. It's been in multiple stages and it's been like a project going and finally we decided to fully rip it apart and start from scratch. So we're starting fresh and new at all parts and this is what's going on. All right guys, so here we got my S13 SR20. It is an S13 motor and an S14 car. Originally bought it from Josh actually. That was a daily car. It was a T25 its whole entire life, fully stock. So the last four years of driving have been fully stock with nothing done. So this is a G25 550. We went with the full Mazwerk setup. It's a top mount V-band, it has a tile wastegate, and the reason why we went with this is it's a full bolt-on affair. As far as the manifold, the downpipe, everything, it just bolts on and goes. So unfortunately, we don't fabricate that much in here, so we needed something that was just pop on and go. All right, for a trans, we are running a Z32 trans. Uh, SR transes are good, but not for the power that we are putting out. So we decided to upgrade everything. We are running the Mazworks kit. It's the bell housing, all the shifter parts, and then they end up giving you a three inch steel drive shaft. So this should definitely help with the power that we're gonna be adding. So we're running an RC 559D. It's a twin plate metal clutch. So it's perfect for drifting. It holds 650 horsepower, and it won't slip under even third and fourth gear clutch kicks. One benefit of running the twin disc is that the pressure plate feels stock. It's not like a five puck that's super aggressive. It'll actually feel like a stock clutch, but grab like a drag clutch. Here we got a power FC. Every single person in front street does run this. It is tried and true. The limiter on this is super soft and safe. You won't break any rockers or throw uh, a lifter. Our tuner is super comfortable with it and it's just tried and true and it works with no problems. And you got a cool Game Boy. There you go. Here we're running a Tarx power steering bracket. It's a nice billet aluminum unit. What it does is it takes your power steering bracket that's up here next to the turbo manifold and drops it down where the AC unit used to be. So it keeps everything out of harm's way from heat or anything else that would affect the power steering. Here we have an HKS Step 1. It's a 256. It is a drop-in cam. So no valve springs or anything have to be put in. It'll just drop right in. And it's also really good for the mid-range for the turbo that we're running. Here we have the KTS down low oil pan. It is fully baffled. It is like a Gretty, but helps a little in the wallet. It is a five quart pan and it is really, really nice. The reason why we run this pan in drifting is because of the baffles. So what happens when you're drifting, your oil sloshes around and this really keeps the oil in the center and it'll keep the oil pressure and oil to your motor. The next what we're gonna do here is we're gonna rip this motor completely down and put all these parts on it. This motor hasn't been touched in three years. It's been in the car. So now's the right time to do it. So stay tuned. No sprayer, no problem. Fuzzy thing? Oh, it's it's, it's a mic. Or no, he's talking about the camera. Oh. You guys are good with this shit, man. With filming and stuff and fucking making your life yeah. on, you know. Expect Nick. He usually he's been yelling at us. Like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, am I making it difficult for you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't worry. Just just put it just put <laughs> it on. You guys are doing that. I'm trying to put a pilot there. <laughs> you fucking scumbag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the oil pan's like sideways. Yeah, they're weird on these. 
support. How much does that all cost? Like 100 bucks. Oh, you motherfucker. That's not bad. No RT there, ain't it? Yeah, well, Alex keeps taking it on and off 20 times. <laughs> Yeah, so, so uh, by the time we're done, no, no, RTV. no, there won't be no, there'll be more on the pickup than the uh, it's kind of hard to get in there. That's because there's RTV on it. <laughs> this guy next door is jamming. You got the other one out already? What? Yeah. yeah. Click it off. Why? You want to talk? No. Talk! On this episode <laughs> of Jimmy Oak's Garage. <laughs> the little never sees on your camera, I'm sorry. It's alright. It's a tool. It might as well be like a fucking Milwaukee impact gun. The we, amount of views. If made cameras, we have one. <laughs> I definitely would. The battery would die mad fast though. <laughs> and it would cost you an arm and a leg for it. You probably, yeah. So first thing we notice after years of experience, we normally, uh, in a sec, um, normally we would um, run, retain this line. So S13s use a water line that goes to the turbo for the water return over here. Uh, when you do an S14 water neck, it has the fitting right over there. So normally we would block this off so what we're thinking of doing right now, instead of having this hose loop back to come this way for the heater core, we're just gonna cut it from here and we'll just have two straight lines coming to the heater core instead of having all this excess mess on the back of the motor. Nice. You got there. Nice clean cut. So 30, 30 foot pounds. For the cover. So right now Joe just took the pressure plate off. We're just gonna figure out exactly the orientation of this and we will install it back in the same way. Oh God, that's heavy. Really? Yeah. Like oh. A clutch disc. <laughs> oh yeah, it is metal, so. All right, that's not bad. Oh, I got it, there we go. Am I holding it? Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking turning this whole shit. What would you do if we snapped the crankshaft right now? <laughs> you might. <laughs> hold on, hold on, we get a better leverage on it, there you go. Ready? Of course. <laughs> Okay, hold on. That's a curse. Dude, I can't hold it. Like, give me a pipe or something. Oh, now I gotta go. You good? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, don't anyway. okay. Jesus, that's a real fucking man right here. <laughs> what? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. You're not holding it right. Keep fucking tightening the same one. So uh, we got the clutch wrapped up. So now Joe's working on putting the throttle bearing on and I'm gonna put on the Masworks adapter kit. So this is an SR20 to 300ZX transmission. So what you do with the Masworks kit is you send out the bell housing and they machine the front half and you bolt this adapter plate onto the block and this will accept onto the bell housing and the transmission will bolt up. Sweet. Would you say VG motor, best motor ever? No, definitely not. Take the camper, we run down there, yeah. and we chill over there. The camper. Bro, you are fucking mysterious, man. <laughs> Seriously. Good for you. Camper is camper is like a camper is live like a shit, dude. Yeah. I want to get like a legit ass boss now, like. Yeah. Nah, dude, that thing is too boss. No, nah, it, it's dope, but it's it's also kind of miserable. Someone, Someone hold the hold the motor. That's depressing. It's not a big boy. That's why. 
Yeah, it's not a jig. It has a uh, fucking uh, engine. Neutral kind of jig? Yeah. Johnny? Yeah. What'd you get? 14. Big, nice. big one. Big old S14 fucking model. Big. Oh, man. Let's go, Joey. Same Might have to picture. put it in gear. Oh. That uh, thing is definitely not aligned right. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do you put this in gear? I don't know. Push it forward or pull it out. You, you might not even it. need to put the drive shaft in to spin to that. To loosen it? Yeah. I think you gotta pull it. Grab the drive shaft. Let's go. Ow, spin this shit a little. I think that was the part where. I think we want to get in gear and spin it. Hmm. Put it in gear. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. Yeah, it sucks. Good? How good? You're spinning the fucking motor right now. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's attached. Yeah, boy, that means the splines are good. <laughs> what? That means the splines are in there. Yeah, that means the splines are in. So, this... You gotta do your... I gotta pound that bitch in. Alright, get up. Hey. There he goes. Um, yep, yeah, the real mechanic shows. Yeah, you're the, yeah, the real, the real mechanic. mechanic. <laughs> I work on trucks. Your car's soaked. Your car's soaked. Yeah, it's, soaked. it's yeah, been it's outside raining, since like 12. Raining. Oh, the inside of it's so wet. No, it's the not. Inside. I just looked in the hatch. Bullshit. Alright, move your fingers yeah. so I don't smash them. Alright, um, <laughs> put the motor on the floor. Okay, get this nice. Get all the shit out of here. Oh, okay. Actually, no, put it on the block of wood. I've tried that. Yeah, it's alright. Put it on the Pull it over a little bit. Hold the front of the motor, Nick. Go from flying forward. Damn, what'd you guys do? Hammer this thing in? Hold on. Nah, nah. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, pull that up. a lot. <laughs> Spit on this shit. Yeah, yeah get that, that out. That's probably why it's not going in. No grease. No, this shit's mad flared up. Oh, is it? Yeah. I hope the bushings are right. We put a new, new bushing. bushing. Yeah, but then did you try and smash it in with a rubber mount and all the brass is in the middle there? Nah. <laughs> Should be fine. <laughs> We're good. It's uh, good, bro. What are you crying get about? Yeah, I'll go too. That's my nail file. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get the grinder. Yeah, chill. <laughs> Alright, all right, don't spin the whole thing. This is going to be deadly. Oh, this is not easy to fucking spin. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, it's not easy. <laughs> 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 let's go. Let's yeah, go. Come on, Nick. Come on. We're on. Yeah, we're, we're, we're up, boys. <laughs> come on. All right, put the, dry, put the dry shit back in. Jesus Christ. Well, this <laughs> fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> Tommy, get this fucking thing in. Put it in gear, too. Yeah, we don't even know how to work that thing. <laughs> Put it in gear. <laughs> Put yeah, it in gear. How the fuck play you do that? Thanks. Appreciate right. it, pal. Fucking <laughs> playing with my bad thumb. Yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, got it. What happened to your thumb, Nick? Uh, explosion. You into his butthole. Explosion. <laughs> his finger went through the toilet paper. Everyone, let it be known, don't buy a fucking Honda Fit. Yeah, don't buy Honda Fits, bro. I don't know. They die. They All crumble right. real quick. We gotta do something. <laughs> they, they don't pass a uh, crash safety test thing. Yeah, definitely don't try and build a drift car. I'd be definitely gonna die. Hey, 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 hey. Take it easy. Take it easy. Good morning over here changing that clutch. Now you can't put the trains on. That, that day sucked. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, no, we a convincer. Alex, hold a piece of wood. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hold this piece of wood. Put your hand right where you It's not the first time. Not the last time. Alright, someone gotta hold the back end of the transmission up. Yeah, you gotta hold the tranny up. Hold the trans up? A little bit. Put it too much. This is a truss exercise. Straddle it? Straddle it. Yeah, straddle it. Pull up. Come on. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Alright, now it's up. No, it's not. Two seconds in. Shut up. We're I not talking told about you. You guys destroyed the pilot bushing, and you guys were like, no, I'm going to shut it in. Enough. All right, Joe, so what happened yesterday? 
So yesterday we put a pilot bushing in and it went to shit because we didn't use the right tool. We should have used a piece of wood to slightly tap it in. So it fucked up and went and let the trans fully seat in. And then what we had to do is use the slide hammer, which is this tool, which I don't know where it is. Sick. To pull the pilot bushing out, put a new one in, and we realigned the clutch and everything, and the trans slipped right on, but no problem. Sick. Yeah, uh, I wasn't here filming because my life sucks. So uh, yeah, they got this done in probably like 20 minutes. So they tightened up some loose ends. The motor mounts are tight. We still gotta put an alternator on, and we need to now do the power steering kit, the Tarx kit. So we're just gonna follow the instructions and put some tension on that, and we should be good to go. Uh, we're just gonna heat sleeve this because it's super sketchy with this yeah, manifold. Thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, Joe said for a peace of mind, fuck it. It's, it's really close to the manifold, I mean. And it still needs to like get even closer, like once I bolt it on. But in the meantime, we got the power steering on, the alternator's on, everything's tensioned. We put the oil pressure sensor for the stack cluster that's on, starter's on, everything's pretty much double checked and yeah, we should have the motor in shortly. And a new Nissan oil filter, right? Yeah. Kind of irrelevant because we're going to flush the oil after we do the cams anyway. But whatever. So we're gonna try something different this time. Uh, this We got this from Faction Motorsports. So it's tight fit fabrication. I don't know if anyone's had issues with their rack lines, like the fittings leaking. That's usually because they're not the correct length. So with the tight fit fabrication, these are tailored perfectly exactly to size on the S chassis. So this should bolt right up and we shouldn't have any leaking or seepage coming out of the brand new rack that we just installed. Yo, we still leave for you, bro. No, I'm not excited. I'm not doing anything in that closet. You still have all this red stuff that's going on. You know, that's probably the only thing they can find. <laughs> <laughs> Shit sucks. It's like a fucking, one of those PETA videos, like, slaughtering the fucking pig. Oh. Sure. Fucking Neanderthal, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, go. Alright, go. We got bigger problems, like, just not going. <laughs> it's so high up. <laughs> I've never seen a horse go this high. Maybe because that's supposed to. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, you just ran my foot over. Yeah, right. it's getting a little tilty. Oh, All right, Chris, Chris is coming to the rescue now. You fucking, you guys are out of control. Yeah, you can go a little faster than that. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. All right, All right stop. stop. <laughs> oh, you Push the thing. <laughs> Fuck, did you, you do to him? My foot over with the engine. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're Sorry! Alright, um... You know we don't have health insurance. Try kicking the wheels over. Back for y'all. <laughs> I'm saying we don't have insurance in this shop. Alright, alright, hold on, hold on. Wait, where's the pump? No, no, no. Yes. Just do what we did before. No, no. Yeah, yeah, run his foot no, over. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, it's going. Hold on, hold on. Alright, you got to lower it here? Yeah, like the... Alright, I'll pull the other one. Do the okay. other side first, and then oh. this side will just drop. Yeah, like a long Alex time. loves the, the Neanderthal stuff. It's only shit, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and this usually helps you slide it. Oops. Hold on. Oh, uh, maybe it lets the jack off? Do the <laughs> yeah. part. Okay. Chris is gonna do the science part. Okay. Nah, I'm just kidding. You got now the whole thing is crooked. It's alright. If you get one, we get the other one. Oh I think if you put it down, we might be alright. I could probably get that bitch in there. Oh, we got oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, a little more. Oh my. I'm definitely 
walk into the corner right now. Yep. Fucking pry it down. So we just dropped it in the fucking syrup. Hey, it's in. It is in. It, that, what's great about those like stock mouths, you could like kind of bend them. <laughs> you could fuck with them. Flex them my hair. Yeah. Alright, we Don't. didn't do that much damage. Yeah, well. Small casualty, just uh, Chris's foot. And, and, uh. And, uh, you cracked the fender. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Alright, maybe I did. Scumbag. Yo, bo uh, bo Bobby. Scumbag. No way. Damn, yeah, I did. The motor is in. We have a decent amount of work left. We are waiting on a bunch of parts, but mainly it's in. Trans is set up. Everything is good there. Uh, turbo is mocked up. We have to pretty much fab a couple small things, nothing too crazy, and we're just waiting on parts. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button below. Give us a like and a comment. If you want to ask us any questions, we are more than happy to help. This is it for today. Sick. So yeah, this video is probably going to be all over the place. Uh, all the other videos are probably going to be a little fucking sporadic as well. And like Joe said, if there's anything you guys want to want to see or maybe something we didn't cover in detail, let us know in the comments and maybe we'll, we'll go back in a future video and we'll kind of just run through something or a quick install but here we just need to figure out uh the turbo setup because we did have some clearance issues i gotta work on making a power steering cooler we gotta make wastegate lines we gotta get the stack cluster uh completely functioning and yeah just like a lot of uh loose ends from here like this motor looks pretty cruddy in here right now but yeah. promise we'll definitely get it cleaned up for you guys so it will definitely look a million times better yeah, and we're going to wrap this video up here, guys. So like, comment, subscribe. Bye.